Good evening guys. Just working on a little project tonight. I'm calling it a tin can torch. I'm also working on a tin foil torch. Uh, I'm sure we're all familiar with the typical way we make torches out in the bush. You take your stick and you split it and you cram some twigs in there to open it up and you put your pine sap and uh, wood shavings in there and it'll burn for you know 10-15 minutes something like that I'm just trying something else out uh, normally we carry tin foil with us out in the woods and typically I find a lot of beer cans when I go out hiking so I thought I'd try to make a better torch something that's maybe better safer burns longer the problem with these torches like this is you have uh, your pine sap dripping and that can actually uh, land on your hand if you're holding it and uh, cause a forest fire so I've been working with this tin can method a little bit seems to be working pretty good haven't tried the tin foil yet I have a coffee can full of pine sap and pine cones. Uh, you could use a lot of different materials besides just pine sap. You could use birch bark and sap, um, cotton and wax, Vaseline, lip balm, just a whole bunch of different combinations. But most likely you're going to find pine sap out in the woods. I made uh, the tin can one just using a knife. I'm assuming we probably wouldn't have much. And I tied the bottom of this tin foil with a bit of cordage just to, to help secure it on. <laughs> So I'm going to load up all these torches, I'm going to uh, light them all and see how long they burn for. And then of course, if you want to try this out, do it at your own risk. Thank you. 
so here we are about the 20 minute mark the tin can torch is still going it was a little slow off the start because I packed it too full and it wasn't getting enough air I really like the tin foil one too you can see how much sap actually dripped down I added a little hand guard otherwise you'd be dripping sap hot sap onto your hand a little bit uh, the whole point of this torch is if you're out in the woods and you're you have no light or your light crapped out on you uh, good way to get yourself home uh, back in the early 90s two friends and I were out in the woods uh, middle of winter minus 30 uh, doing our usually our usual bushcraft and, and day hiking type type of stuff and we had this fire going and it kept getting later and we did not want to leave the fire it was so nice and warm you get about eight feet away from the fire and you're just freezing so we just kept staying out there and uh, before you knew it it was really late at night and we had to walk about three miles in complete darkness back in those days we had minimal gear and we never really stayed out past dark so we had to walk about three miles home so I've just added some more fuel to my torches on their own they're going to burn for maybe 15-20 minutes but you bring some extra fuel with you uh, you can just keep keep them going as long as you want uh, not only do they make great torches I think it'd be a good way to transport fire as well if you're moving from one location to another uh, they'd probably work pretty decent as hand warmers 